hey how's it going on guys so in this video we'll discuss about this problem surrounded regions so in this problem we will be given a two dimensional array consisting of x and o's so something like this now in this problem x will capture o now there are certain types of o that is two types of o which won't get captured the first type being the o's which are lying on the boundary of this two dimensional array those won't get captured so in case an o is lying on this 0th row or this last column or this last row or this 0th column those won't get captured so if you see carefully this is lying on the boundary so this o won't get captured the other types of o's which won't get captured are the ones which are connected to the boundary o's either via horizontal or vertical path so let me take an example to show you guys that thing so consider this array given to us now the o's which are lying on the boundary that is this o and this o these are safe and rest of the arrays are in danger so basically i have marked the rest of the o's as in red and these are in green now the o's which are connected to these boundary o's via horizontal or vertical path are also safe so if you see this o is connected to this o via this vertical paths so this is also safe similarly this is connected to this o via this path so this o is also saved similarly this o is also saved but we cannot say the same thing for this because this is diagonal connection this is not a horizontal or vertical connection so how to solve this problem so it's a very simple question so what we can do is we can simply iterate over this boundary indices correct and whenever we are hitting a o what we can do we can do a dfs traversal starting from this point and when and in case and wherever we are hitting a zero or an o we will simply mark this as e that is escaped so what i'm saying is so suppose uh, for this array i'm doing a dfs for this point now what i'm saying is so from here i will move to this one then this one then this one so all these o's will be converted to e e stands for escaped so we will have something like this so what i'm saying is these o's won't get captured and similarly for this these two will get converted to these e that is escaped once we have this array what we can do is we can simply iterate over this array one more time and whenever we are hitting a o we can say that these o's will get captured by x so we will convert these o's into x and whenever we are finding a e we will say that these o's got escaped so we will convert them into o so we will have something like this correct so i have written the algorithm over here you can read the algorithm as well so now i'll write the code for this question and then things will be more clear okay so let me define the two variables that is int rows and calls now first we will write the base case over here in case board equal equal null or bow dot length equal equal zero we will simply return next what we will do is so see what we are going to do is we are going to simply iterate over these boundary indices and whenever we are hitting a o we are going to call the dfs so suppose over here it will call the dfs and it will mark all the adjacent horizontal and vertically connected o's to be e so that is these got escaped so let me do this thing so for int i equals 0 i less than rows i plus plus so in case if board of i 0 equal equal o then we will call dfs for board i 0 so basically this is for the 0th column next for the last column that is in case board i this is calls minus 1 in case this is equals to o will call dfs for board i calls minus 1 so this is for the last column next we will trade for the 0th row and the last row so for int j equals 0 j less than calls j plus plus if board of so we need to consider the 0th row and the last row so in case board of 0j in this in case this is equals to o 
वी कैन कॉल डी एफ एस फॉर बोल्ट जीरो जी एंड वी हैव टू कंसिडर द लास्ट रो एज वेल दैट इज बोर्ड ऑफ दिस इज रोज माइनस वन जे इन केस दिस इज इक्वल्स टू ओ विल कॉल डी एफ एस फॉर बोर्ड रोज माइनस वन जे सो लेट मी एट दिस डी एफ एस मैथड एज वेल सो दिस मैथड वोट रिटर्न एनी थिंग सो इट विल टेक दिस खैर एट इज बोर्ड एंड इट विल टेक आई एंड जे सो फर्स्ट यू विल मार्क दिस बोर्ड ऑफ आई जे एस ई दर इज दिस सेल हैज बीन एस्केप्ड नेक्स्ट यू विल कॉल डी एफ एस फॉर दी फोर डायरेक्शन सो इन केस यू आर हु आर हियर यू विल कॉल इट फॉर दिस सेल दैन फॉर दिस सेल दैन फॉर दिस सेल एंड दैन फॉर दिस सेल दैट इज द फोर एडजस्टेंट सेल्स सो लेट मी कॉल द डी एफ एस फॉर दिस फोर एडजस्टेंट सेल्स सो दिस इज आई माइनस वन जे सो लेट मी जस्ट कॉपी दिस थिंग फोर टाइम्स this will be i j minus 1 this will be i j plus 1 and this will be i plus 1 j one more thing we need to consider the base case as well in case i is less than 0 or i is greater than equals rows or j is less than 0 or j is greater than equals calls or board of i j is not equals to o in that case we can simply return so after this after this thing is done what we will have is so from here we will be somewhere over here now we have to simply iterate over this array and we have to mark all os as x and all es as os so let's let's do that thing as well so for int i equals 0 i less than rows i plus plus for int j equals 0 j less than calls j plus plus we will simply say if board of i j equal equal o then we will mark board of i j as x and if board of i j equal equal e then it means this cell has been escaped so we will mark it as o so i guess that's it so let me submit this code once so it's giving the wrong result okay so the mistake that i was doing in this question is actually i have not initialized this rows and calls so let me initialize this as well so rows is equals to board dot length and calls equals board zero dot length so let me submit this code once and it got accepted so i guess that's it from this video in case you have learned anything from the video you can hit that like button and in order to support my work you may consider subscribing to my channel